Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I'm Bern, this is my father Curtis, and today we're going to be looking at a gift set. Now this is the Classic Malts. Classic Malts. What can you tell me about it? Well, this was the first one that came in the state of Iowa this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes noise. Yeah. 16, which is always wonderful. Always good. Talisker 10, which is always good. And a Krugmore 12. Cragmore 12. I don't know if I've tried this one yet, but I am familiar with Laguvalin and know a little bit about Taliskers. Mm. Well, something I found of interesting is that there's this little chart on the back of the box that kind of talks about some of the different regions, I guess, or maybe some of the different, no, different whiskeys and their uh, profiles, whether they're uh, smokier or lighter. So we're starting with the Taliskers, something I haven't try I don't know if I've tried this one before it's the 10 year I think Jamie brought a 10 year talisker over didn't he possibly these are the note it knows it's fairly bright. smoky yeah bright bright and smoke it's smoky but there's a brightness to it mm -hmm. a real sweetness but the smoke is really layered on top of it yeah, it is sweet. It gets a little bitter towards the end. But I believe Talisker's is from the Isle of Isley. Okay. But I believe, um, well, yeah, I think it's from the Isle of Isley. And uh, again, smoky, full body, mm -hmm. wonderful impact, mm -hmm. lingers a long time. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does linger on the palate for a very long time. But not in an unpleasant way. It does seem a little bitter towards the end, but not it's grossly kind of so. Towards the end. So, Crockett Moore next. Okay, this is Speyside. Mm hmm. And here is the cork. Yeah, smells way different, not nearly as smoky. Oh, completely mm -hmm. different than the Talisters. Yeah. Hardly. Compared to the Taliskers, there was hardly any smoke in it at all. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe the Taliskers has kind of overpowered the... Might have a bit. ...this one a little bit, because this one seems a little bit more easy drinking, perhaps. Oh, yeah, definitely. A lot more approachable, definitely. Um, I don't know if it's, it's, like, sweeter than this, but it's a different kind of sweet. It's a different kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. This is really sweet, even though it's smoky. This is a, a sweet, but it's very gentle. A very mellow sweet, kind of like a honey or a nectar, perhaps. Yeah. But not really like a rich caramel. No. no. And this seems to be a really nice little box set. Yeah, so far I'm, a, I'm, uh, I'm liking it. Okay. So you say it because I always pronounce it wrong. I say Legovlin and it's not right. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Legovlin. It might be Legovlin. I don't know. I think it's Legovlin, <laughs> though. I think I've heard it pronounced Legovlin. Also way different. This is, um, it's a very diverse box set. Yeah. I'll say because you get all the, are they from different regions? They must be. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Put the cap back on so we can cut it on. Very, very smoky. Very, very. Um, of course we've had this before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's like a barbecue. Yeah. 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 Um, very savory. Um, well, where these were kind of more on the sweeter sides of the spectrum, this one's very savory. Very, very savory. Um, I would say similarly smoky to this. Mm -hmm. Thing is, is um, somebody looking to try some whiskeys and want to have a little bit of variety, this would be a really good box set. Definitely. Um, the with three bottles, you get a surprisingly diverse range of flavors. Yeah. It's it's quite interesting. How much did this cost? I think it was around the sixty dollar range. Sixty dollars? That's not too bad. But you got some nice bottles. I mean, they're they're, they're not little tiny shooters. Mm -hmm. You know, you have you have more than one pour out of them. Yeah, it's about. Uh, I don't think that's a pint. That's like a half pint, maybe, mm -hmm. about. Yeah. But it's plenty. It's plenty enough. It's enough to give you an idea of what each of these taste like. Um, I think for someone who'd be interested in getting into whiskey or scotches, I should clarify, scotches in particular, this would be a very nice box set for someone. And this is the first one we're going to talk about. Yep. There's a couple more. We'll do separate episodes for those, though. So that one's coming up next. Yep. Next episode, we're going to be doing the Classic Malts Collection. Looks very similar to this. 
They're both classic malt selections, but that's okay. Okay, so <laughs> this is a different classic malt selection. Yes. All right. Anything else you would like to add to this episode before we close out? No, I think that's good. All right. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed watching this, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any further questions. Share this video around if you enjoyed it, and happy holidays. That one's done.